Hello, uh, welcome to a uh, Yamaha Delight 125. In this video, I'm replacing the rollers in this, uh, I think it's called the variator, aerator, whatever. Anyway, as you see, these things, they wear out. One of them has a flat spot on, I can't remember which one it is, but remember, right, is that you do not grease this. You just take them out it's a shame they don't do them singly because only one of them's got a flat spot. But uh, there you go. And of course, brand new, it takes six and they slot in here. You just need to clean in these recesses here. You know, I don't have any cleaner, but you know, just your finger or a rag will do. And um, actually I'll just get a rag. I'll just clean, just wipe them out. Yeah, spray a bit of WD-40 in it. let that sit for a while let it do its shit but there you go this is all quite very very simple one nut and just make sure that you keep all the bits tight you don't want to lose anything or mismatch um, where the locations go because you do not want vibration and uh, this is the belt you always check the belt make sure it's always in the right rotation see the arrows I'll take it off and inspect it normally they go very glossy around the sides so make sure there's no cracking you you stretch it in like that to make sure there's no cracking no this belt is pretty good as you can see it's quite light normally they get really mucky with all the dust from the clutch and the rollers but and also you just compress this as you can see you compress that and that's how you get your belt on and off quite easy but anyway getting back to this once it's all nicely clean, you literally just slot your uh, rollers. There's six of these in this, so it's quite easy. Anyone can do this, as long as you've got the tools. Just make sure it's really clean. <clears throat> this cloth is not good. I'll use this one. because if this is not clean what happens is that the dust gets in behind the rollers and it stops them it jams them up and of course they spin and they create a flat spot so just make sure this is all nice and dry clean ready for the new rollers The only thing you do need to make sure it's got a bit of grease, only a little bit, is just in here because this is the sleeve and this is what makes it go in and out. <clears throat> right, get rid of these. Right, there you go. You literally just slot them in. You know, there is no right way or wrong way about putting these things in. There you go. You put your sleeve in. Put that in, make sure it's clean, no debris, dust, dirt. Slot that in. And make sure this also is clean take these off just give them a little wipe stick them back on there is only one way of putting these in you can't get it wrong just make sure the surface as you can see there's a little bit of wear but you know it's fine it's not deep or pitted or grit or uh, got lines in and then you literally just put it upside down and put it in there's location marks on them, so you can't get it wrong. There you go, see? That was quite easy. And of course it goes in this way.
just like that. Make sure you hold it. And then you put this in, this little washer. That goes next. And then this fan thingy majiggy. <laughs> And you put that on, that on, and then you put the nut on. There you go. And that is how you do it. Of course, you just put your belt on, button it all up. But that is the video for how to put your rollers in your Yamaha Breeze 125. A delight. It's not a breeze, it's a delight. <laughs>